Hey guys, Ash again here, and I'm at a uh, lookout, uh, which is about I don't know, 16 k's or 12 k's down a road called Niora and St. Helens or St. Helens Road. And I'm on my way to Granville uh, to spend a couple of days and have a bit of a tour around there. And I just saw this lovely uh, lookout here and I've pulled over for a bit of a rest. <clears throat> so I'll zoom in and hopefully uh, the quality of this uh, is pretty good. I hope so. If it's not, forgive me. I will eventually get better equipment down the track. Uh, but right now, I am stuck with this. So this is uh, basically where it's at. For me, in terms of video quality, um, but it's just such a nice spot, guys, and uh, just had to show it to you. And I wanted to have a quick chat to you. I've got a, a better, bigger upload coming up soon to go over the quad again and show you some things that I didn't show you originally. Things that were fabricated by Ben uh, at Trisled. But uh, overall, I'm just really happy with this quad. There's a couple of little things um, that, uh, well, yeah, a little bit annoying. But, you know, overall, I'm really happy with it. The Bafang and the Roll-Off Speed Hub uh, work, you know, flawlessly together. And the solar panels that are trickle charging the e-bike battery and also the battery in the quad are working really well as well. Got no qualms there at all. The only issue, which I hope I can fix, is that my bum gets a bit sore with this type of uh, seat. It is a recumbent, but it's actually up a little bit more than the Magnum Green Speed that I've got, or the Green Speed Magnum, I should say. And the blood uh, to my toes, uh, the, uh, my feet go a bit numb. The, the toe area, the end of the, of the feet gets a bit numb, and it's a bit annoying. And the Magnum, sorry, the Green Speed Magnum doesn't do that. So, anyway, I had to just stop here. But it's not that I needed a rest because I just had one not far back, a few k's back. But you know, when in Rome and you're presented with this kind of a vista, you're mad not to take some footage or at least sit there in the, in the reverie at the moment, you know. And that's what I'm doing, mate. So uh, I'll leave it there and uh, I'll have a chat to you again when I get to Granville um, about some other things. Thanks, guys. See ya. Hey guys, here I am down at the Granville Recreation Oval. I'll just pan around a little bit more now. This is one of my favourite spots to come. Uh, and just down there, behind that fence down there and to the right, is some very stealthy um, campground down there. The only reason I haven't taken my rig down there is because it has been a bit wet here of recent. Uh, days and as you can imagine my quad weighs quite a bit and I'm just not confident and I certainly don't want to get a bog so I'm just uh, stopped over here this spot where I'm at here is where I would usually park my camper van and just up there is the entrance way from the Bass Coast Highway to come in here we just had a helicopter land just up over there I'll zoom in see if you can see it they're about to take off again in a minute. Unfortunately, I uh, let's see behind those cars there. I tried to tape it with my uh, iPad and it just didn't work, the zoom and everything. So uh, they're gonna take off again in a minute and hopefully I'll catch that. But I wanted to show you, just so I'll get the sun behind me. When Ben fabricated this bike, he, he has sort of broken some really technical ground here. Uh, I don't know if you've seen his um, video on YouTube about how we built this. Uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, he doesn't go into a lot of detail about how he's, the things he's done in that, but because um, I imagine, you know, it's you know, a little bit of sort of secret agent stuff there, but I'm going to just, look, I didn't know half of this stuff that he did either until I jumped on it and took it for a ride and I thought, wow, he's, you know, he really has done some cool stuff. But uh, 
I have left under every video I ever do, I'll, every upload I do on YouTube in the description area, I will leave you his um, website and the actual YouTube video that he makes, that he has made of the stuff, of the build, the montage of his build. But I'll just tell you again, this seat has suspension. If you can see it there, bang, and then down in there. And also you see the two round tube pipes of uh, steel there that um, it actually twists, it turns on itself. It's actually really cool. So this back section is separate, is only connected to the front section by this other tube here, which means if you're familiar with um, longer recumbents and bikes and tan bikes and everything, there is frame twist, frame uh, twisting. So that, I imagine is a pretty cool thing he's done to counteract that and, and, and solve that issue. And the, how I found out about that, because I was always wondering what these two tubes were, I thought I've never seen that before. Uh, and when I went over a gutter accidentally once, um, and one side was the two front wheels were higher than the back side, and I could actually feel it. And, and then I looked over my shoulder and I could see this thing here twisting which was pretty cool. So that's what that is. Um, hopefully this uh, helicopter will take off soon. I've had a lot of people dropping by here today, uh, wanting to talk about the, the quad and everything. And that's really cool. That's really cool for me because that's why, that's one of the other reasons I've done this guys, not just for my own edification have I done this or my own adventurous spirit, but I was caught in the interest slavery system for, you know, way too long. And um, little by little, it, eats, it, it ate away at me. And um, this was something that I had on my mind for a while. Uh, in terms of the small house movement, um, it really, uh, you're probably familiar with Living Big in a Tiny House, that YouTube channel uh, that's, uh, owned and run by a partnership between Bryce Langston and um, his partner. Please forgive me, I forget your name. Uh, and that's, watching that show really piqued my interest. And um, so that's where we're at, guys. This is, this is basically what Bryce shows on his YouTube channel, but really minimized and, you know, it's really a bachelor's thing or a single person's thing. I mean, I have had ideas that, you know, you could have a, a whole family like traveling around, like the, the father could have his own one and the mother could have her own one and the two little kids just have their own thing with no trailers. And when they, when they find a campground, you have the two parked next to each other and a special thing comes across and turns it into one unit. So there's all sorts of stuff like that, which is pretty cool. All right, a couple of men take off. The pilot actually came over and had a chat to me. And uh, he's very intrigued about what I was doing. And answered a few of his questions, and it looks like they're gonna take off. The pilot said they just landed here to refuel. Hey guys, here I am down at Grantville Foreshore and as you can see in the backdrop there, that's their little jetty and um, it's a beautiful day here today at Grantville. I camped overnight at the Recreation Oval as I mentioned earlier and uh, today I'm going to cruise around Grantville and show you a few of the sites. Uh, from my perspective, where I am now is by far the nicest spot in Grantville. It's right on the water. 
And um, that jetty over there, you can catch elephant shark off that in the right season. There's the rig over there. And uh, yesterday, I rode, as you know, I rode 21 kilometers through the, the mountain pass, so to speak. And uh, I went through half of my 13 amp hour battery. Now, take in mind, this whole rig's probably, with me on it, close to 400 kilos, or just a, a tad over. I haven't weighed it yet, but I'm sure it's something around about that, because I'm 126 kilos myself. Uh, and I know for a fact that there's at least 200 kilos of um, equipment in there. That's not, that's not including the quad or the, the quad frame etc so anyway that's what it was and the road I came down was called Nyora St Helier Road and that went from Nyora here to Granville estimated roughly about 21 kilometers via Google Maps and um, <clears throat> it was extremely hilly but a very very pleasant ride and gave the quite a really good test which is what I needed and uh, I'll just take you over there now I'll show you I did get some mirrors Ended up getting some mirrors, so that gave me the confidence to go for a longer sojourn. And they're called Azure. There they are. And they sit out quite nicely, as you can see there. And I get a really good view out the back. Unfortunately, they're a bit plastic fantastic, so I don't know how long they're going to last, but hopefully a while. If I'm careful with them, they'll last a while. So this is the beautiful Grantville. Been down here many times before, stayed here many times before in my camper van, and now it'll be a, a home away from home. Stealth camp spot down there at the Recreation Oval. And I might even be cheeky enough one or two times to park my rig just in front of those seagulls there, or behind them, <laughs> not in the water and stay there a night uh, and set up my chair and do some fishing there to make it look like, you know, um, he's not asleep at all, he's doing some fishing. <laughs> anyway guys, talk to you again in a minute. See ya. Hey guys, I'm still here at Granville and I'm just showing you around a few things here. This uh, takeaway food place here is called Eurobites. They make the best Sulakis using the traditional uh, year off la uh, meat, the lamb meat, and um, they are absolutely dinky die. It's so one of the best of larkies I've ever had. If you've ever watched that show Seinfeld, and uh, the episode where Kramer jumps off the train, he's only got a few seconds to grab a gyro, is what he called them, but the correct pronunciation is euros, and it's Greek. There you go. If you're after a nice souvlaki and some, some other stuff, they've got other stuff in there as well, all Greek stuff, beautiful, lovely baklava, uh, lots of different things in there, guys. It's absolutely amazing food in there. And um, there's a little fuel stop, some more shops over there, and uh, there's a cafe, uh, a bakery. Down, just down here, down there, I don't know if you can see it, no you can't, but there's a little umbrella down there with a little uh, coffee coffee uh, van and they make really good coffee there and it's, uh, I had a few, coffee, one, one coffee there and I, I might go and have another one there today, but uh, we'll see. Anyway, I'm going to probably head off from here in the next hour or two, simply because um, I want to get back and do some other stuff. Uh, I've met a few nice people here today. They've told me about some other places I can ride and um, I will in the next episode probably be going through Coronella uh, as I go on my way to Phillip Island to visit my mate Trev. If you're watching Trev, g'day. I'll be down to see you soon, mate. Wanted to show you this, guys, just how, uh, give you an idea how much weight is on these wheels. Uh, I'll zoom in. You should be able to see that. Crikey, thought I heard a noise. 
or someone smashing into me rig that just a, pa- a truck closing his door. Anyway, as you can see, there's a shitload of weight on there, and uh, you know, too much, too much weight. See there? There, way too much weight. Anyway, it is what it is. I think what I'll end up having to do is uh, put in a smaller battery, smaller fridge, and a few other things as well, just to uh, lighten up the load. But anyway, it's like, you know, it handles all right. I can get up hills and that with the e assist, that's not a problem. And um, yeah, it's a good bit of fun, but definitely there's a lot of weight on those wheels, so it's going to have to uh, do something with that down the track. Anyway, I'm about to go and get a coffee over here. This is called the Alfresco Chaos. They do great coffee. And this is in the start of the town, uh, over there. As you're coming from Phillip Island direction, heading towards Tiradon, this is uh, really nice coffee in there. And they do nice little tasties as well. So uh, I'm gonna head on over there in a minute and um, grab one. Hey guys, here I am. I've got the beautiful coffee here from our Fresco Kiosk. And here's the lovely toastie that I had here last time. It was the, this one here, bacon, egg, cheese with spices and salt and pepper. It's very yummy. They've got some other good ones there as well. I just had a chat to the, the owner to make sure he was okay with me doing a little bit of filming. Because some people don't like it. He was okay to do that. He said, thank you for asking. So I just wanted to give him a bit of a plug. As you know, I love championing the entrepreneur. And uh, beautiful coffee here, guys. As I said, it's on the way from Melbourne towards Phillip Island and back again. Kind of at the start or finish of uh, Grantville, whichever way you look at it. And uh, drop in, guys, and uh, you know, support the, the entrepreneurial spirit. All right, guys. Ciao for now. Got some more of those um, back seat storage bags, guys. I just wanted to show you. I did end up putting one over uh, the gas hob and I did cook in it yesterday, some dinner, and there was no issues. The exhaust fan, even though it's close to the top of the bag, still works well. Uh, the only issue is it doesn't produce a lot of light, obviously, because it's blocked, but uh, I can remove it. It's just a few clips, it's not a problem. And I did put that one there in the middle of the thing. And all these two here have just basically got clothes, ah, sorry, food and um, uh, cooking equipment, things like that. Uh, unfortunately, I haven't, didn't have enough money to buy the, uh, the whole set. Uh, I do have another one down over there on the right side that's hard to see. That's next to my bed. That's where all my electrical stuff goes. Lap, uh, iPad, um, phone and everything and when I'm lying down in bed I can get onto YouTube or watch a movie from there it's very comfy and uh, yeah I still have to get a few more of these bags storage bags um, so I can get rid of these bags here which have my clothes in it so I want to be able to hang everything up and have this area down here as free as I can for getting in and out ease of access especially at night if I need to go to the bathroom uh, I don't want to be tripping up all over this nonsense here. Um, I brought this gas bottle with me today, uh, even though I haven't had a shower, uh, just to see, you know, how it would go um, if I was able to have a shower somewhere. I could have had one last night, but I just decided against it. I'm going to have one when I get back to the, part of me, back to the storage shed, but uh, it weighs a bloody ton, and it's actually added quite a bit more weight to the rig. So I don't want to be taking that again. I want to get that smaller bottle going. And uh, yeah, so I'm just, I'm on my way back to Nyora at the moment through this mountain pass where I showed you earlier on uh, to look out. I was, I came through this way yesterday from Nyora to Granville through uh, the mountains, through a road called Nyora St. Helia Road. And this is uh, an area called the Shuntoff. Uh, and this is the lookout that I showed you yesterday. It's absolutely, you know, gobsmackingly beautiful. And uh, I'm just stopping here having a smoke. And I'm about to take off again in a minute. 
and uh, yeah, we'll touch base again when I get back to uh, back to the Nyora to the storage shed and uh, talk to you a bit more about the performance and everything. So far, I've travelled about 4Ks from Granfield, pretty much straight uphill to get here. And the battery went down from 39.6 down to about 37.8. But it was all pretty much uphill. I was going very slow. It took me about an hour to ride the 4Ks uphill to get to this spot here. And there's still some doozies to go. So uh, I hear on the grapevine that um, Metropolitan Melbourne is uh, being, uh, we're all opening up as of this weekend coming. And uh, I think today is October the 26th or something like that, or 25th, I'm not sure. Uh, but Phillip Island is going to be absolutely uh, inundated with people from Melbourne coming down to the holiday homes down there. So I want to get out of the area before all that happens. I'll be going the opposite way, though, from all that sort of stuff. But I still want to get out of here before all that. Uh, so that, that, that uh, onslaught will be happening on... Um, uh, Friday, so I want to leave Nyora on Thursday and get out of here to miss all that. All right, guys, ciao. One's a company, two's a cracker, three's a party coming, move around, click. Fresh, fresh when the school is out, when the booze is up, when the sun is down, enjoy the ride, that's what pillows in the shed.